Hey, this video is going to produce a little bit of discussion, I hope, and I'm going to just share a thought with you, and you can respond any way you like, but we're going to be joining the Asbury Revival in Kentucky. It's been quite surprising, hasn't it? Over the last 11 days, we have witnessed God's power in a very extraordinary way. Would you agree with me? Yeah? And we've got to remember everyone outside too. And then that's the stuff we can at live stream and everywhere else. God has moved in a very extraordinary way. And I must reiterate, it's not us. It's all God. Okay? Now, it might be me, but um, I like to come up with a couple of terms with this. And lately I've been thinking about this as being a bare bones, unplugged Jesus move. It draws curiosity. To a what? Do you understand what he's saying? Doesn't it? This unplugged Jesus. We're coming and it's gripping our hearts and it's grabbing attention for us to be thirsty, to be hungry for something that we haven't seen displayed in the world today. Now, let me just set an example. No offense to my uh, worship team friends over here. By the way, I love this stuff. The drum kit hasn't even been used. <laughs> There's no electric guitar. Where's the projector, mate? There's no... The... So that's a sign there's God's power at work, right? The drums haven't been used and there's no overhead words, right? There's no PowerPoint. There's no lyrics. But yet, there's this inherent power that seems to be moving in, hey? An inherent power that's moving in? It could be anything, people. And it's grasping at our attention in a very countercultural, very counter human. Countercultural? That's the 60s. And wisdom so counter even, can I dare say, the modern church. Right, slam the modern church. Now I'm a professor here, and I've witnessed some of my students' lives change dramatically. Students literally accelerating in their spiritual maturity. Accelerating in spiritual maturity because they came to a New Age rock concert. Somehow they instantly grew up spiritually, right? Ten years spiritual maturity. Moving from milk to solid in like one day. <laughs> no kidding. Ten years of spiritual maturity in one day. Now if that's not a lie of the devil, I don't know what is. I don't joke. One of my, um... A dear professor mate of mine, he, um, uh, someone that I look up to very dearly, he describes it as an acceleration of God's work. Well, that's not biblical. Acceleration of God's work? This is New Age stuff, people. And it's reminiscent of the 60s. And that's why I'm doing this video. So I'm going to shift my focus right now. And I'm going to go to uh, the premiere of the Jesus Revolution movie, February 24th, 2023. The Jesus Revolutionary movie, a revolution movie is premiered. When does the Asbury University revival begin? February the 8th, 2023. Hmm. Jesus Revolution movie, Asbury University Revival. I'm seeing a connection now. You may not see it, and you may not agree, and that's okay with me. But what I want to tell you is this. These things sometimes are not coincidental. 
So the biggest example I can give to you is Three Mile Island. March 28, 1979. China Syndrome movie. March 16th, 1979. They'll tell you it was released 12 days before the Three Mile Island nuclear accident. There's no nuclear accident, it was just a stage show. So I'm trying to coordinate this idea of movie scripts and actual so-called real things that are happening in the world around us. And that's just one example. The Three Mile Island and the China Syndrome. So I'm going to suggest it is not coincidental that the Jesus Revolution movie premieres February 24th, 2023. The Asbury Revival, February the 8th, 2023. Now what could that mean? Well, what it could mean is that Asbury University is participating in FEMA activities. FEMA sponsors events for news, creates events for news. And once again, there's the tie-in the Jesus Revolution movie because the Jesus Revolution movie is all about young people supposedly coming to faith but not really giving up their drugs free sex and so forth now I don't know about the actual lives of individuals down here at Asbury University but someone did mention somewhere along the line in, that the university itself is very open to perversions. And I don't want to speak about what they are. Now, <clears throat> you will probably be saying, that's not fair. Well, I understand that, and I'm, I'm with you. But what I have seen, basically, that most of this so-called revival is just sort of like a rock concert. And most of the music appears to be New Age. Now I did catch them doing... I did catch them doing a Michael W. Smith song, Let It Rain, and I have a very extensive video on Michael W. Smith, who is a Satanist. And if there's one song sung that glorifies Satan and is composed by a Satanist, then none of this movement can be truly of God. So you might say, you sound pretty harsh. Well, I understand your perspective. But I would like for you to respond, and you're welcome to disagree. You're welcome to chastise me if you like. <laughs> but you watch my video on Michael W. Smith, please. I spent quite a bit of time on it. And uh, you need to know the man is a Satanist. So all his songs should be completely excluded from anything that calls itself Christian. Jesus, you don't owe me. 
most of what I've seen in all this is that basically you have a lot of college students coming to what I would call pretty much like a new age rock concert. And again, I want to tie that into the whole idea of the premiere of the Jesus Revolution movie and the Asbury so-called revival. Now, I could be wrong, and that's okay. <laughs> and you're welcome to respond in any way you like. I just wanted to get my thoughts out there and see if I can get a response from you, my viewers. Thank you for watching. This concludes the video.